uh, rare motor and a uh, pretty cool project here. Uh, started out on the block is a 1970 service replacement Ram Air 4 block and it's the real deal. Uh, four bolt main put uh, studs on the main caps with uh, there's actually ARP bolts on the outer ones. I started doing that years ago. Uh, gives you a little bit more room uh, with the windage tray and, and uh, still holds the tolerances and clearances perfect. Uh, this particular motor is stroked to a 461 so it has an Eagle uh, cast crank, forged rods, factory windage tray. It's actually a 1970 455 windage tray. They had a little five stamp there. They're thicker trays. Uh, they're fine to use and even in racing applications though I don't use them for racing but this is a street strip type motor in a sense um, as you can see it's got the SR uh, block there there's nothing stamped right here um, that is my stamp for the deck height which is 10.224 this block had all the machining done it was square decked it was bored and honed with a torque plate it has Icon forged 30cc dish pistons that I actually uh, developed and had Icon do for me and now it's off the shelf type part. They make them in all the different bore sizes and uh, I used to get them custom made all the time and now it's an out of the box part which is great. Uh, the 30cc's is right here. If you see there's a big giant area here but they still do the quench great pistons been uh, been using them for a couple of years now um, so basically this is going to be a Ram Air 4 461 it's going to have a roller cam got the Ram Air 4 heads over there I'll be working on soon just like to get the bottom end done I'm going to button that up pretty soon got a real rare factory 111 2011 with the 9G9 date code, the one year, one day only, I guess, uh, Ram Air 4 distributor. Uh, took out the points, put a crane unit in, have a rev limiter set at 6,000 RPMs. Great unit, been using those for years. Uh, light springs, completely redid the distributor. And I've got a little advanced bushing put in uh, to limit the amount of um, advance that the motor will get. Uh, we're going to do a pretty uh, decent horsepower pump gas Ram Air 4 uh, that's going to look completely stuck. Got the customer's uh, original 1970 Ram Air 4 intake and original heat shields. And it's all glass beaded, ready to go. And uh, got a factory oil pan. I like to glue the gaskets down and let them dry. And uh, no leaks at all that way. So I'm ready to button this up and do a little bit more work and then I will uh, have another video coming up.